Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Augustiniak. I'm Assistant Professor of Biomedical Sciences and I'll be teaching Physiology uh, at the Medical School. Uh, my name is David Rodenbaugh. I'm an pro Assistant Professor in the Biomedical Sciences for the School of Medicine as well. Uh, the goal of this summer course will be uh, focused on teaching students about diabetes. And most students typically encounter courses that are siloed where you're learning biochemistry in one class, physiology in another class, pharmacology in another class, and the reason why we call it integrated biomedical sciences is because we're going to be using diabetes as a way to encourage the students to integrate what they've learned before and get exposed to more in-depth biomedical knowledge um, from each of the major disciplines but in an integrated fashion. And the teaching mode we're going to be using is called team-based learning which is probably a lot different than what most people are used to. As the name implies, team-based learning, it, it emphasizes you to work together as a team and almost uniformly the knowledge of a given group is far superior to that of any individual. So it teaches you how to discuss topics, how to defend a given answer, and, and how to really um, show the strength of a group together and how to learn to, to work in that manner. And this is something that the medical school is going to be using in the future for teaching medical students, and it's something that's widely used in uh, professional schools like PA schools, uh, medical schools, veterinary schools. So it's a newer teaching modality that we want to help the students get prepared for if they're going on to professional schools in the future. I always say that lots of people ask the question like, why do you pass gas? And why do you go to the bathroom? And so as a little kid, I found bodily functions both amusing and interesting. And <laughs> that's sort of what drew me to physiology was learning about quote unquote what most people might call gross sciences. But to me, it was really interesting and fun to know and be able to explain to other people. In my free time, I'm, I'm an avid golfer. I enjoy being out in the sun. I, I'm, I'm a woodworker. I enjoy working with my hands and doing home improvement type activities. Uh, I have a 12-year-old daughter, so I enjoy spending a lot of time with her. And uh, I'm a huge football fan as well, so I come, come in the fall, I'm glued to the TV if I, have, if I can find the time. I'm an avid fisherman, so actually one of the downfalls of the summer courses is going to cut into my fishing time. So I love musky fishing, trout fishing, um, you name it, fishing, being out on Lake St. Clair, that's, that's where you'll find me on my off time. Summer school is like the one time where you're not necessarily having to take courses that are required for your majors. This is where you can just take what I consider fun classes things that might be of interest to you, and you never know where it's going to lead to from there. So I always look at it as you have the opportunity to take classes, and you're here to not just get a job. You're here to become more of a person. And so even if you don't end up being a physician, I would say almost everyone's going to have an individual in their family that develops diabetes, and they could become an advocate to help that person deal with the disease. So, to me, there's all kinds of strengths and benefits to taking advantage of unique different summer classes that um, might not typically be offered during the regular school year.